guys, Ellie Hart here from TC Helicon, and today we get to hang out with Paul and Jenny. Hi. Hi. Paul and Jenny are DJs at my favorite radio station, The Zone at 91.3, and normally they're interviewing me, and this time <laughs> I get to interview them. Finally. Yay. <laughs> so we are being on this side of things now. But I'm into it. Okay. It's a trip. I know. I've been like really getting used to being on the other side of the camera. <laughs> And I, I gotta say, I like being in front of the camera more than behind the camera. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna say, yeah. Oh, You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> so we thought it'd be really fun to ask you guys um, if you could give some advice because you have a fantastic program that really highlights local upcoming emerging talents. And you guys call that the band of the month. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I got to be one of those ones and that was how I met these fine folks. Yeah. And, uh, and it's been really great for my career with my band and um, it's given us, honestly, like a really great following in our hometown here. And um, what would you guys recommend for people that are wanting to start getting radio play? Like, how do you approach that? Because it's really daunting as a musician. Yeah, it can be daunting. Um, but the thing is, is that we're all just human beings and we're all in the industry together. We all want to help each other out. And yes. that's something that we do have to remember in radio. And I think community is so important and like promoting local talent is so important. And it's great that we're doing that here at the radio station as well because we have so much good talent. Yeah. And it's really nice to see and be a part of, you know, um, you know, finding that talent or them coming to us and then watching them grow and move on. Like we see Jesse Roper out there, we are on this stage as well. Like it's amazing to see, but just approaching people in a human way, whether it's an email or like reaching out in person yeah. and uh, just making sure that they know each other and that you're, you, yeah, just kind of being aware of each other and um, yeah. yeah, just helping each other out that way. Thing. Yeah. It's really important. It's been such a good program for us too. It's so beneficial. It's so symbiotic the way that you know, it's like we play a band on the radio and then maybe a few more people go to their show and then they're plugging us and then maybe a few of those people who weren't listening to us, now they're listening to us. It's just like it builds and builds and builds. This is a really great cycle. And then the more you know, people in town that hear local people on the radio think like, oh, that could be me. And so they practice a few more hours. They yeah. work that little bit extra harder to have that attainable goal yeah. to get it to get there and it just builds and builds and builds and it's what's laid a really nice foundation between support and talent mm -hmm. here in this town that you know that we have such a stacked local scene and that's mm -hmm. where we can play so many local bands on the stage this size. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I also find, yeah, talking to bands who have gone through the program as well, mm -hmm. um, because, you know, maybe they're doing a show and they need an opening act or whatever it may be, you know, that's a great way to reach out as well and kind of get started. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm.